Okay, so asked a question on, uh, I would call it more, what do I call, spiritual experiences. I uh, can't think of the right word, but anyway. Um, okay, so Hawkins talked about it, and I think it's kind of obvious. Um, uh, so uh, I'll probably talk a little bit about cities as well, because uh, um, in, in Indian, in Indian, so, uh, in Indian, uh, the Indians have documented spirituality for thousands of years, uh, and you know it's classically known there in India that they've documented the cities. Cities are quite, I mean, I like talking about the cities, uh, but anyway, you know, there's things like you can be at two places at the same time, uh, levitation, uh, various other things. Um, so all of these mystical experiences, you see, it's very uh, easy to understand this, and I'll, I'll go into some of the complexities of this as well. Let's make sure the light's on. Are you on? Yep, you are on. Okay, so, so to see it this way, like when I'm identified with my thinking, uh, and identified with the body. If I identify with my thoughts, it seems like my thinking is mine, yes? When I'm identified with the body, it feels like the body is me. Uh, and if there's repressed feelings, then there can be feelings of shame or guilt or fear. So that's the separation. Okay. As you let go of the repressed feelings and all the thoughts, uh, and, and also let go of tracking time and location, and all the other things that create separation, yeah, you're, be, you're, you're moving from separation to, to being unlimited, yes? Now, I mean, like with Hawkins, for example, when you get to certain levels of releasing the identification with this story and this body, uh, you're going to go start to get all kinds of spiritual experiences are going to start happening. You know, when you get to very advanced levels, you can get the extreme, the cities. You know, you might be at the same, because all the belief systems which create the world of separation no longer apply to you. There's infinite power, infinite love, uh, so all kinds of things can happen. Um, now, for individual, now that, you know, like Hawkins would say, on average, if you do muscle testing or you were a past life hypnotherapist, you might find the average advanced spiritual seeker has about 15 or 20 lifetimes. So there, there can be a lot of karma. Um, and also in past lifetimes, certain things, you may have worked on certain spiritual, I'm going to call them gifts. Like, you know, in, in previous lifetimes, one might have been the, the local, um, the local, I can't think of the right word, the, the, the local village healer or something, you know. And you might have learnt from your, the, you know, the, the older village healer, like, how to tune into the spiritual realm, how to tune into the guides or the, the spirit guides and how to get wisdom. So Hawkins goes about, there's the dip, there is the, um, so there's the separated, this world, where you have uh, all the spirit, the spirits are docking into the physical bodies. The thing with this, when we're not in, uh, when you have the spirit dock into a physical body in this world, the great opportunity here, this um, purgatory, is that, you know, you can have Buddha and an axe murderer uh, in the same realm. When you're unhooked from the body, it, you know, the energetic, the, you tend to go, it, there tends to be a tendency for the vibration of the spirit to go to a, what's called an astral realm, which is more in alignment with the vibration, so, of a similar vibration. So very, uh, you could say, if there was a lot of heavy karma, you're an axe murderer or a donut robber, then, you know, and you, you'd go to, a, a, the density of the vibration would mean you'd, you'd be shifted off to an astral realm, uh, I mean, they sometimes call the, the lower astral realm help, for example, where you, you meet other donut robbers who've got the same energetic vibration because you're not hooked into the body. If you've been like, I don't know, feeding the homeless your whole lifetime and helping little, little old ladies cross the street for your whole lifetime, you'll, you know, the vibration of the soul as it unhooks from the body would go to an, an astral realm um, which is more in alignment with that. I'm waffling a bit. You can go to the non-dual realms, which are the enlightened realms, where there is no this or that. There is no this or that. Also, as you're releasing... Now, here's the thing, you see, like, um, you get all the, the usual things that I've talked about, like clairaudience, uh, clairvoyance, uh, uh, you know, and all kinds of things. Because what's happening now, because time is not real, location is not real. So if I dissolve... 
Now, at a certain point, and you may have, you don't know what, what gifts you honed in past lifetimes and what karma. So different people can have different gifts and different things may come up for different people. Like some, one person might be a, very good at healing. Another person might be very good at uh, picking up, I don't know, picking up your ring and, and experiencing your past lives, psychometry. Or another person may be, uh, um, like Hawkins did this thing, I think, with Hawkins, where he, he went, actually went to school where they help you to dock out of the body, jump out of the body, have an out-of-body experience, and you could just go to the other side of the world and read something in, in a box, you know. So you can have all these things, because remember, time and separation are not real. So you could, like, the consciousness could dock out of the body and go off to another country and see what's going there and come back. These are happening in, 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 within this thing, but that, that's, so that there's that, and then there's the astral realm. So one might have unhooked from the body and just go to different locations here, so there's a certain spiritual gift. There's also visiting other astral realms. You might uh, you know, unhook, like people may have these very clear dreams. You, know, you might unhook from the body at night time and go and visit another realm. You might suddenly go to, oh, well, I once went to a really horrible place. Uh, you don't need to hear it, but it's probably like visiting one of the lower astral realms, which is not unpleasant. And we've probably visited some very angelic realms, as I've undocked from the body and gone out and had a, had a few visits up and down, places which um, you may go to or not. So the, the gifts can be different. Um, also, um, when you leave the body, you may go and visit a realm and then come back into the body. Um, you may have some uh, angelic guides that may talk to you. You may be able to get communications uh, from others in realms, depending on what realm they're in. So it just, uh, definitely when I, um, they say, and with muscle testing research, they say that often the spirit is often around, doesn't quite leave, you know, when the physical body dies, on average they, it sticks around the earthly realm for about three days, if you muscle test it. I definitely, when my mother died, uh, I could definitely feel her presence for a few days afterwards, and then I, it ceased. It was like, you know, and I, I, from what I knew, I knew she'd moved on. She wasn't, a lot, you know, long, longer sort of uh, around, but I felt her presence very, very strongly. I tried to communicate with her that I understood that, you know, I mean, that she, and I knew what was happening with her. Um, so there's all of these experiences. Uh, also, um, the heavenly realms, you know, like, uh, I mean, Hawkins did a bit of research on this. Like in heaven, you know, there's like little pockets of heaven as well. So, you know, it's like the, there might be a pocket of heaven where all the Christians go and all the Muslims go and, you know, where you sort of meet up. So it's like a lot of it is um, uh, where you have faith and your belief. You can end up into these various pockets after the body these various domains. Um, so, does that answer the question? Or, okay, let me stop there for a second.